hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video we're going to be looking at something different we're looking at polite numbers and how to generate the consecutive numbers or the group of numbers that sum up to a polite number so what is a polite number a polite number is a number that shows respect that is good and kind i'm joking a polite number is a number that is a positive integer that is gotten by the sum of two or more consecutive positive integers so at the end of this video we're going to write an, an algorithm to implement creating or finding or generating this group of consecutive numbers that sum up to a polite number all right so let's say we have a number like 15 15 is a polite number because 15 can be gotten through the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 it can also be gotten by summing 4 plus 5 plus 6 you can also get 15 by summing another group of consecutive numbers consecutive numbers like 7 and 8 7 plus 8 will give us 15 so to implement an algorithm that would calculate the number of the group of consecutive numbers that will give us 15 we are going to try you can look at two possible ways of going through it which is by brute forcing trying out different numbers by incrementing the consecutive numbers in sequence or by using a mathematical solution so here we can see that we have a number of the group of consecutive, consecutive numbers here that give us 15 there are three so we have three groups so we're going to implement calculating the number of groups of consecutive numbers using c sharp so the first way of doing it is by brute force and so we can for 15 we can start from one and do an increment one plus two equals three you no know, this does not satisfy the solution you can go into the next one increment again plus three equals six you can increment once more plus three plus four equals ten right no this is four four yeah equals ten and we can increment once more plus two plus three plus four plus five equals 15 so once it satisfies for starting when starting from one we'll jump into the next higher number so start from two so this will be added as a group so we have seen one group then we'll start from two two plus three is five two plus three plus four is nine two plus three plus four plus five is equals to fourteen two plus three plus four plus five plus six is equals to 20 so you can see it's higher than the target number so we'll jump and skip to three so we'll start from three three plus four is equals seven three plus four plus five is equals twelve so if we add six it's going to definitely surpass 15 so these are not satisfied solution so what satisfies is once we get to we get to four and we do four plus five is equals to nine no four plus five plus six is equals to fifteen so we increment this so this will not be two the number of groups seen is two so we we'll get to the next higher higher term this is getting messy let me delete everything so we'll get to the next higher term starting from five going upwards won't satisfy from six won't satisfy so the next higher term is seven seven plus 
is going to give us 15. So using this brute forcing method by incrementing continuously seems to solve it, but once it gets to finding a number that is very, very high and something like a million and two, if you have to find, if I check the consecutive numbers that make up a million, a million and two, I don't even know if this is a, I don't know if this is a polite number. We'll have to test it. But let's assume, let's assume this is a polite number. So if I were to find the, the consecutive numbers that make up this number, we're going to do a lot of increment, incrementing and that can be computationally expensive on our computer. So the easiest way to go about this is to use a mathematical formula called the sum of an arithmetic progression. So this is the formula for that, the sum, which I can call the target. So S is equal to target. So the sum is equal to the number of terms N over two into two times the first term plus the number of terms minus one times the difference. So for a number like 15, these are the possible groups, consecutive group of numbers. We had seven and eight. So the number of terms here, you can see that is two. We had four, five, and six. Number of terms here, three. And we had one, two, three, four, and five so the number of terms here there are five here so that's what i mean by n so when you see n n just means the number of terms in the sequence then d since we're dealing with consecutive numbers d is definitely going to be one so let me clean this mm. So to find easily find the group of numbers, the group of consecutive numbers, the easiest way to go about this, instead of creating two for loops and changing the value of n and a to suit s, we can just make a the subject of the formula here. And in making a the subject of the formula, we, we would get a is equal to 2 times the target, which is s minus n squared plus n over 2n so for this instance when we're trying to like find the number of group of consecutive numbers that would give us 15 so s can be substituted with 15 so 2 times 15 minus n squared plus n over 2n so we're going to create a for loop that will start that would start with n that will start with 2 because a polite number is defined as a positive integer that can be written as the sum of two or more consecutive numbers so we'll start our loop by using 2 we'll start with 2 so when n is 2 it would give us something when n is 3 it will give us something so for it to satisfy for n to be satisfied as a group of consecutive numbers a has to be a number a positive integer a whole number not a fraction that is above zero so let's use a number let's take for instance 2.5 let's say a equals 2.5 now 2.5 doesn't satisfy being categorized as a group like it, it does not satisfy the equation because 2.5 is not a whole number or let's say a doing incrementing the value of n a equals minus 0.5 now this is not satisfied because it's not a whole number and 
it is not positive remember a is actually our first term so our first term must be a positive value just like we had we had for 15 we had um, 7 and 8 we also had for 5 and 6 you can see that all these numbers are positive so let's write an algorithm in C sharp to implement this okay it's coding time and we're going to implement an algorithm to calculate the number of group of consecutive numbers that give us a polite number so okay let me increase this to be larger nope I think this is okay so um, okay so yeah some namespaces that we're going to need here using system we're using the system dot collection dot generic namespace we're also going to be using the link the link library namespace here so let's start here by creating a variable for the input so right okay let's just bring something to the console console right line please impute your target value next we are going to define a variable here that would accept inputs from user and since we are going to make use of the read line method i would like to convert this to an integer so int 32 and console.read read line yeah then next we are going to create we are going to create a method that calculates the number of groups and does all these algorithm calculations so static to return an integer an integer would be the number of consecutive number of sorry the integer would be the number of group of consecutive numbers that sum up to a polite number. Consecutive, let's call it consecutive optimized. Huh? Okay, consecutive number or consecutive groups. Yeah. So it's taking an int, an integer. The parameter would be target. Yeah next what is problem here okay so next we are going to define a variable which i would call the product product equals two times target so target is actually the sum it's just the sum of the arithmetic progression so two times target then i'll create another one counts count is equals to zero and that'll be the default value zero next int n is equals to two this will be the starting number for the while loop that I'm going to create soon. So then there'll be a list. The list I'm going to create a list, list to like hold the ranges of these consecutive numbers. So like for instance, we for 15 we had one, two, three, four, five, we had another group four, five, six, and we had seven and eight. So this list is going to like hold all these group of consecutive numbers. So to be a list and it would contain another list of integers and I'll call it 
I'll call it groups or let me call it ranges because new lists and to be empty for a start next I'll create my while loop which we're going to use for the implementation to implement this so while true I want this loop to run forever so I'll start by defining the numerator numerator would be the product minus n times n plus n then my denominator my denominator would be 2 times n and a would be numerator divided by denominator next there will be a condition that will break from this that will break the execution of this while loop and the condition would be that if a is less than or equals to zero break stop running this while loop so next for me to for the value of a to qualify as a group for the value of n to qualify as a group i have to check if a is a whole number so I'll use this implicit conversion method and a is equals to a I would um, if satisfied that I create a group, I create a list here. I call it range equals I use an enumerable dot range method, and because and the range method accepts an integer, so. I'm going to convert this to an integer using the implicit method and n. n is the number of terms. Then I'll convert it to a list. Next, I would add this list to my ranges list outside here. I'll add it here. So let's add range next i would now increment the count the count variable the next thing i'm going to do would be to increment the value of my n so that n would be that should be inside here so I increment the value of my n so the loop will not run to infinity. So for instance, to start start from two in the next in the next iteration, it will get to three, four, and continuously to be going up until it satisfies or it breaks out from the loop. So for my range, oh, I want to like print out the values in my range. So ranges dot for each I console the right line and I have string dot join. This is an easy way of like printing the values of a list item. So I want to unseparate them using a comma and I'll use I here then finally the last thing to do would be to return the last thing to do here would be to return my so this should be out sorry the last thing to do should be to return my counts yeah 
and catch present the number of groups of consecutive numbers. So, what next? What next? Okay, so let me try out this algorithm. I have to call it in my main function. So, here I would call say console dot okay. Let me remove this. Also, write my consecutive groups. Now, take the input. So, let me see if this will work. Mm, dot net run. Yeah, so I have to put fifteen. So did this work? I think there's an error somewhere. So um sorry this would give us an infinite an infinite loop because it's inside here so that means for each iteration it only it only increments if this condition is satisfied which we don't want we want this and number of number of um terms number of of integers to number of terms or integers to increment respective of if this conditions here are being satisfied so i think now we should be able to run properly so that's let's run so for a number like 15 you can see 7 and 8 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 and the number of groups we have three groups so let's see a number like this for like 16 so 16 should give us zero because it isn't a polite number so we have zero so let's see if a million and two is actually a polite number Two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's actually a polite number. And <laughs> we have just three groups that sum up to three groups of positive numbers that sum up to a million and two. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on polite numbers and how to find the group of consecutive numbers that gives us a polite number. Thank you. Please do share like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.